In today's video, you're gonna learn how to set up a simple cloth simulation using X-Particles 4.0. Let's go. Hey everybody, it's Nick here from grayscalegorilla.com, bringing you the tools, training, and tutorials to help make you a better motion designer. Now today's video is all about showing you how to set up a simple cloth simulation inside of X-Particles 4.0. Now, if you're trying to learn more about X Particles, don't forget we have hours of training over on our website. I'm gonna link it up down below and right here on YouTube. All right, now let's head on into Cinema 4D and let's make some cloth. Okay, here we are in Cinema 4D and the first thing we're gonna do is grab the object we want to turn into cloth. In this case, I'm just gonna use a basic plane, but you could use more advanced geometry if you need to. Now. As soon as you have your geometry ready, this is really simple. Make sure that it is selected and go up in your X particles menu and come down to dynamic objects. Then go to XP cloth effects and click on create cloth. Once you do that, that is it. Your object is now cloth, it has gravity, everything's ready to go. And in fact, if you want this to start colliding with objects and moving around like cloth, all you have to do is add a collider object. In this case, I'm gonna grab a sphere, move it down a little bit and come up here to our tags menu, go to X particles tags and click on XP collider. Now that's gonna make our sphere a collider object and as soon as we hit play, you're gonna see the cloth naturally kind of bounces and wraps around this object. Now don't forget there's a ton of bounce and friction settings to play around with that do affect all of these uh, calculations. Um, but the other thing I wanted to show you is if you ever need more geometry on your object, you can also drop your cloth into one of these subdivision surfaces. So if I just grab one of those, drag our cloth onto it, you're gonna see it smooths out our cloth quite a bit. Now to show you that a little bit better, I'm just gonna drag this material up here. This is a material made with Top Coat, which is one of our plugins. Um, this will just show you a little bit better on how our cloth is reacting as it bends. I'm also gonna turn off the um, emitter just in the viewport so we could see our cloth without all those dots on it. Okay, so there we go. That's a little bit more natural of a uh, feel with our cloth. Okay, so that's more like dynamic cloth. What if you want that look, you know, where the cloth is kind of like blowing around in the wind? What do you do then? Well, that's really simple. Let's just go back to frame zero. Let's turn off our sphere for now. And also let's turn off gravity. Now, if we turn off gravity, our cloth is just gonna sit here and do nothing. But what we need to do is tell this cloth that there's wind and that there's turbulence and all these other things. And if you've used X particles before, you know that those words exist as modifiers inside of X particles. So all you have to do is come up to this menu go to modifiers, motion, and grab something like turbulence. Now, when we hit play with turbulence on, you're gonna see our cloth start to move around. The turbulence is affecting our cloth, and we can even turn it up uh, in our strength and get even more of this kind of curvature in our object. Now, if you want this to really fly around, what I would do is duplicate your turbulence and set the second one to kind of a larger scale and the first one to a smaller scale and then play around with the strength until you get the desired effect. There we go. So we have our cloth kind of flying around. We could also add some more frames in our uh, timeline here just so we could see it fly around and you're gonna see it start to move off center. There we go gonna get some really beautiful looking animation. And if you start with a bigger plane with even more geometry, this will get even better. So I told you earlier that uh, you could use any object. I wanted to show you a quick scene, uh, here it is, where I used this uh, bust model here that is in the content browser and I added cloth effects to it. I added turbulence. I also added an attractor and all the attractor is doing is keeping this model centered in the frame. And you can see now we're getting these really interesting cloth kind of soft body dynamic looks really, really simply with even more advanced geometry. So I really, really want you to experiment with this cloth effector. If you haven't played around with it yet, it's a perfect time to do it. It's really fast to get set up. It's really easy to use and it's it can really create some beautiful effects. Thanks again for watching everybody. And don't forget, if you're looking to learn even more about X Particles, make sure you visit our site where we have hours of X Particles training to get you up to speed. 
Thanks as always for watching and I hope to see you in another video really soon. Keep learning and happy rendering everybody. Bye bye.